Are you one of those souls feeling hopeless? It seems like nobody cares. And you wonder if anyone's truly interested in you. When you're in that place of despair, there's this sense of dread, a question lingering. Where is my hope? In other words, what am I living for? Unfortunately, there are multitudes of people today grappling with this very question. They're navigating a life without hope, no hope for their marriages, their children, their health, finances, future, job, or profession. It's a state where life itself seems devoid of hope. So where are you in life right now? Maybe it feels like you're lost in the darkness, surrounded by a swamp of emotional despair with nothing attractive in sight. And so you might have reached a point where you've given up. But let me tell you, that's never the intent of Almighty God. God desires for us to have goals, confidence, and assurance, and assurance. You see, He created you for Himself, and He sent Jesus Christ into this world to pay your sin debt in full. Why? So that you could become the person God intended you to be. He wants to take care of all your sins, giving you a sense of personhood, making you feel like somebody. He desires to provide you with a future, satisfaction, confidence, and security. And my friend, only Jesus Christ can do that. Today, I want you to understand that God is ready to change your story. He's a miracle, working God, and He's about to do the unexpected for you. Only God can bring about such transformation. As He begins to work unexpectedly in your life, you'll start noticing clear signs. Today, I'll reveal five of these signs. So, open your souls and minds to receive His divine word. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to consider joining our growing faith community. Let's dive into these signs that reveal God's miraculous work in our lives. Before we dive into the signs that God is about to do the unexpected, allow me to speak directly to your hearts. We hear a lot about hope. It's a universal cry in our world. Someone, somewhere, pleading for a glimmer of hope. The Bible acknowledges that the world, in its brokenness, lacks hope. But here's the beautiful truth. As God's people, we have a hope set before us, firm to the end. Paul, the apostle, reminds us that the God of hope desires to fill us with joy, peace, and an abundance of hope. In times like these, you may wonder, where do we find this hope? The answer is clear. Christ is our only hope. There's no other source left in the world that can provide the deep, unshakable hope we desperately need. The journey of hope begins with being fully assured that you are right with God. Despite the challenges and uncertainties that the world is facing, we must anchor our faith in the understanding that our sins are covered by the sacrifice of Jesus. Even if the enemy launches vicious attacks on our faith, we stand firm, knowing that Jesus reckons us righteous before the throne of God. For those among us who are wounded and bruised, carrying the weight of guilt and regret, hear this. Bring your broken spirit to Him. Stop resisting and surrender to the hope that God offers. Hope is not just a feeling. It's a path, a journey through tribulation and affliction. So, before we explore the signs of God's unexpected work, I encourage you to bring to Him your brokenness, your contriteness, and say, Lord, I'm not going to resist anymore. Hope is about living. It's an expectation that, in God's time and way, He will deliver. It sees the invisible, feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible. Now, let's explore the signs that reveal God's miraculous work in our lives. Let's explore the first sign, an immense need to grow. Have you ever found yourself at a crossroads, feeling an undeniable yearning for personal growth, an insatiable thirst for something more profound in your life? 
This profound realization is not mere restlessness, but a divine nudge, a call from within that signals the readiness for transformation. It's an inner prompting that whispers, it's time to grow. We see echoes of this truth in Philippians 3, verses 13 and 14, where the Apostle Paul shares, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. This verse beautifully captures the essence of an unwavering pursuit of growth, pressing forward toward the prize that God has prepared. Think about the story of Joseph. His life unfolded as a series of unexpected events, from being sold into slavery by his brothers to imprisonment in Egypt. Yet, in every circumstance, Joseph exhibited a profound commitment to personal growth. His immense need to grow, both spiritually and emotionally, eventually led him to a position of authority and blessing. So, when you feel this intense longing to grow, recognize it as God's invitation to embark on a transformative journey. It's a divine whisper encouraging you to embrace change, learning, and becoming the person God envisions you to be. As we navigate this sign, consider the immense need to grow not as a burden, but as a sacred prompting from God. This inner call might just be the precursor to the unexpected blessings He is preparing for you. Now, let's delve into the second sign, a profound change of perspective. Have you ever experienced a shift in the way you view the world around you? It's not just a change in opinion, it's a transformative shift in your entire perspective. This sign is like God gently adjusting the lens through which you see life, offering you a new, more profound outlook. Consider the significance of this change of perspective in the context of personal growth. It often begins with a realization that your current viewpoint is limited, prompting a desire to see things from a higher, broader vantage point. In the scriptures, we find affirmation of this truth in Romans 12, verse 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Now, let's draw inspiration from the life of Zacchaeus, a tax collector mentioned in Luke 19. Zacchaeus, despite his stature, climbed a tree to see Jesus passing by. This act symbolizes not only a physical change of perspective, but a spiritual one as well. When Jesus noticed him and chose to visit his home, Zacchaeus' entire outlook on life transformed. He gained a fresh perspective on his own actions and embraced a path of righteousness. So, when you sense this profound change of perspective, Recognize it as a divine invitation to align your viewpoint with God's. It's an opportunity to see your life, challenges, and relationships through the lens of His wisdom. Embrace this shift, for it might just be the key to unlocking the unexpected blessings God has in store for you. Let's explore the third sign, closed doors, open opportunities. Have you ever faced what seemed like insurmountable closed doors in your life? These barriers, though initially disheartening, may actually be divine invitations to open opportunities. This sign is a testament to God's unique way of redirecting our paths for a greater purpose. Reflect on the symbolism of closed doors in the journey of personal growth. It often marks the end of a chapter, urging us to step into the unknown with faith. In the scriptures, we find reassurance in Revelation 3, verses 8. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word 
and have not denied my name. Consider the story of the Apostle Paul. He faced numerous closed doors throughout his ministry, from imprisonment to rejection. Yet, in those very situations, God opened opportunities for Paul to share the gospel in unexpected places. Paul's journey teaches us that closed doors are not the end, but a transition to new opportunities aligned with God's plan. So, when you encounter closed doors in your life, view them not as dead ends, but as portals to new beginnings. Embrace the uncertainty, trusting that God, who holds the keys, is leading you to open opportunities that align with His perfect will. This third sign invites you to see closed doors as divine guidance toward unexpected blessings and opportunities beyond your imagination. Now, let's delve into the fourth sign, persistent inner conviction. Have you ever felt a deep, unshakable conviction within your spirit? It's as if your very soul is resonating with the certainty that something extraordinary is on the horizon. This persistent inner conviction becomes a guiding light, a beacon of assurance that transcends mere logic and speaks to the core of your being. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 beautifully encapsulates the essence of this sign. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. This scripture encourages us to entrust our deepest convictions to the one who orchestrates our paths. Consider the life of Abraham as a testament to trusting in the midst of uncertainty. Despite the barrenness of his wife, Sarah's womb, and the seemingly impossible promise of descendants, Abraham clung to a persistent inner conviction. His unwavering faith in God's promise eventually led to the birth of Isaac, fulfilling the divine covenant. So, when you sense this unyielding conviction within, recognize it as a divine assurance. Trust in the Lord with all your heart for He is making your paths straight. This fourth sign beckons you to embrace the inner conviction that something extraordinary is about to unfold and God's faithfulness will surpass all understanding. And now, let's delve deeper into the fifth sign, supernatural confirmations. Have you found yourself in a situation where you long for assurance, where the path ahead seems uncertain and you're seeking divine confirmation? This sign speaks directly to those moments when God employs extraordinary means to affirm His unique plans for your life. It's those instances when dreams, visions, or encounters unfold, leaving an indelible mark on your soul erasing any doubt or hesitation. In 2 Corinthians 12, verse 12, the Apostle Paul discusses the signs of a true apostle, emphasizing the role of signs and wonders as manifestations of God's presence and mighty works. The signs of a true apostle were performed among you with utmost patience, with signs and wonders and mighty works. Consider the relevance of this scripture to your own journey. Are you yearning for a sign, a supernatural confirmation in your current situation? Let's draw inspiration from the story of Gideon in the book of Judges. Gideon, faced with a daunting task, sought confirmation from God through a fleece. In the quietude of his uncertainty, God responded with unmistakable signs, providing Gideon with the reassurance he needed to step into his divine calling. Now, apply this narrative to your own circumstances. Are you in a place where you need assurance regarding a decision, a direction, or a season of life? 
Just as God affirmed Gideon through supernatural means, consider the supernatural confirmations in your own life as God's gracious response to your seeking heart. So, when you encounter these supernatural confirmations, view them not as mere coincidences, but as divine affirmations tailored specifically for you. This fifth sign invites you to embrace and celebrate the extraordinary ways through which God assures you of His divine interventions, guiding you in the unique journey that unfolds before you. Now that we've delved into these powerful signs, let's shift our focus to some practical steps you can take to prepare for the unexpected blessings that God has in store for you. Embrace growth. Reflect on that immense need to grow. Consider areas in your life where you feel the call to evolve and learn. Take intentional steps towards personal and spiritual development. Just as we discussed earlier, view the need for growth not as a burden, but as a sacred invitation from God. Cultivate a renewed perspective. Actively seek a profound change of perspective. Engage in practices that broaden your understanding of life, challenges, and relationships. Meditate on relevant scriptures like Romans 12, 2, encouraging the renewal of your mind. Allow God to adjust the lens through which you see the world, enabling you to embrace His wisdom. Navigate closed doors with faith. When faced with closed doors, shift your mindset. Instead of seeing them as obstacles, perceive them as opportunities for God to open new doors aligned with His plan. Trust that these closures are guiding you towards greater blessings. Remember, Revelation 3, 8, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. Deepen inner convictions. Nurture and deepen those persistent inner convictions. Spend time in prayer, seeking God's guidance and wisdom. Let the inner knowing that something extraordinary is about to happen fuel your faith. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. As Proverbs 3, 5, 6 encourages, knowing that He will make your path straight. Be open to supernatural confirmations. Stay attuned to supernatural confirmations. Be open to dreams, visions, or encounters that may serve as God's unique way of affirming His plans for you. Just as we discussed in the fifth sign, recognize these extraordinary means as God's gracious response to your seeking heart. Remember, preparing for the unexpected involves not just anticipating blessings, but actively engaging with the transformative process God is orchestrating in your life. Embrace these practical steps, and you'll find yourself better positioned to receive the abundant blessings God has in store for you. Now, let us bow our heads in prayer as we prepare our hearts to receive and embrace the unexpected blessings that God has in store for each one of us. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and anticipation. Thank you for the insights and revelations shared today, reminding us of your love, guidance, and the unexpected blessings that await us on this journey of faith. As we navigate the signs you place before us, we ask for the strength to embrace growth, the wisdom to cultivate a renewed perspective, and the faith to navigate closed doors with confidence. Deepen the inner convictions within us, Lord, and help us be open to the supernatural confirmations that affirm your plans for our lives. We surrender our plans, desires, and uncertainties to you, trusting that your ways are higher and your thoughts are greater. May your Spirit guide us every step of the way, aligning our hearts with your perfect will. 
We pray for each person listening that they may feel your presence and be encouraged to embark on this journey of preparation for the unexpected. Shower us with your grace and mercy, O Lord, and let your blessings overflow in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we conclude our time together, I want to leave you with this thought. God's plans for your life are beyond what you can fathom. Embrace the signs, trust the process, and prepare your heart for the unexpected blessings He has in store. Remember, growth, renewed perspective, faith in closed doors, deep inner convictions, and openness to supernatural confirmations are not just signs, but invitations from a loving God. Take these steps with confidence, knowing that He who began a good work in you will carry it to completion. May your journey be filled with the joy of discovery, the peace of surrender, and the assurance that God is leading you into a future filled with hope. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this message encouraging, consider sharing it with others. Don't forget to subscribe for more uplifting content, and let's continue growing together in faith. May God's unexpected blessings abound in your life. Until we meet again, May His grace and peace be with you always. Amen.